WBIR 10 News reporter Rachel Whittle shows us how the items used for cooking meth are more common than a lot of us think. Rachel. Robin and John, while meth ingredients may turn up in many households, Gatlinburg police and fire crews learned their placement in a home or on the go is more important. This is very crucial and, it's, and it could be life-saving for our responders. Gatlinburg police and fire crews used its new training facility to recreate the looks of a meth lab. Walking through there and uh, looking around, uh, you know, I got to thinking, I was like, well, I've got this in my garage, I've got that under the kitchen sink. Start finding solvents and fuels in kitchens and acetone in the refrigerator and certain dishes covered with pasty items. Learning how to identify meth labs, their cooking materials, and how to safely contain them. You see it on TV and the, those TV shows where they got this huge lab set up and, and it looks like a chemistry set, but that's not the case. Gatlinburg police say the growing concern isn't just finding the hazardous materials inside a home, but finding smaller meth labs on the go. And have got 10 or 12 of these in here. Technically, you got 10 or 12 labs. Most of the time now, they're actually carrying them around with them, which I think is very strange. Uh, backpack labs, basically. They, they try not to do it at where they live. They figured that out, and they try to, to move the location, and it makes it harder for us to track. The Tennessee Dangerous Drugs Task Force says the state is ranked third in meth lab seizures across the country, and there are about 40 meth lab seizures per month in Tennessee. Our population and our demographics change so rapidly it can change overnight basically. Never knowing what the next day might bring, Gatlinburg responders hope this training helps unite their whole force. This is going to help us mesh and respond uh, more fluently to these emergencies and hopefully uh, reduce uh, uh, possibility of injuries. Gatlinburg police and fire crews say if you see no signs of meth, you should also be aware of a chemical smell, specifically lithium. Both teams hope to continue training together to seize meth labs quicker and safer. Robin and John, 